This cake is a head turner. Those who don't even like carrot cake will be converted. Not only does it look extravagant, but it tastes like a dream. To start off with, we're going to put all the dry ingredients in a large mixing bowl. 170 grams of flour with a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. A pinch of salt and a nice heaped teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And give that a quick mix. And 170 grams of chopped walnuts. Get all the walnuts tossed in the flour. This will ensure they won't sink to the bottom of the cake when baking. And the most important part is the carrots. You want around 300 grams of grated carrots. Mix the carrots in really well with the flour until every bit is coated like this. In a separate bowl, we're gonna to whisk together the wet ingredients. Crack in two eggs and throw in 200 grams of light brown sugar. If you're a bit short of brown sugar, just top it up with white sugar. The more brown sugar you include, the more fudgy the cake will turn out. First, we're going to cream the eggs and the sugar, and this is a good time to put in any flavorings like vanilla. And I like to use an electric whisk for this. Blend that together until it looks like caramel. Now, simultaneously pour in 150 milliliters of vegetable oil or any flavorless oil. Whisk that all together until fully incorporated. Now pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Fold this golden mixture in with the rest of the ingredients. Be careful not to overmix as that will result in a tough cake. I have a 9 inch cake pan that's been greased and lined and now the cake mixture is ready to go in. Smooth out the top evenly with a spatula or the back of a spoon. This is going into the oven for about one hour at 150 degrees Celsius. Whilst the cake is in the oven, let's get on with the cream cheese frosting. You need 250 grams of soft cream cheese at room temperature. And 55 grams of softened butter. I'm just going to beat that with an electric whisk. Cold butter and cream won't make a smooth frosting, so keep the ingredients out of the fridge beforehand. Health conscious people look away now because I'm putting in 280 grams of icing sugar. If you have good quality vanilla extract on hand, splash in a teaspoon. The end result is a luscious, glossy frosting. Pop that in the fridge until the cake is ready to be frosted. After one hour in the oven, it looks like my cake is ready. You know when it's cooked through when a skewer comes out clean. Once cooled completely, it's on to the crowning glory. For the icing on the cake, I'm sprinkling on some grated carrot that I set aside earlier. And that's my banging carrot cake. 